Greetings and welcome to GPO Gaming. I'm Chris and this is Jake. Hello. And today we're playing the Stanley Parable, a mainly narration driven game, and it's meant to get quite mind bendy and a little bit trippy. As you move your cursor, sorry, the cursor on the computer oh, on yeah. the screen is moving. <laughs> That's cool. Right, let's get into it. Uh, begin the game. Begin the game. End is never, the end is never, the end is loading. Never. Um. You seem to have crashed. No, we're good. We're okay. I think. Or the loading is never. Or the end of the loading is never. Yeah, so this is the game. Trippy, man. I think I just died. Well, that's, that's it for this episode. Fantastic. Ah, there we go. We're Here back. We go. We're back. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. My favorite number. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. <laughs> This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul renting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Almost reminds me of the um, Pushing Daisies narrator. And then one day, something very peculiar very happened. Actually. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his Don't years at the company <laughs> had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped oh, out of his office. So this is like an old point and click? I assume so. Something? Right. What did he say? Right. Let's start. Right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply meeting missed room. a memo. Okay. You you've sort of taken on the role of Stanley in that he said Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Now you're going to the meeting room. I feel. I don't know how I feel about this. That's the meeting room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What? Go right. Go yes. yes, screw that noise. Go right. Go that way. This was not the correct way <laughs> to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, he doesn't. He just wants to fuck. Oh, shit, you're there. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. <laughs> it had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. That's it. Drink in the atmosphere. Gulp in the walls. <laughs> mm. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> What a room so utterly <laughs> captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. I'm hoping the rest really of the game is now it. I can just, just despite him, do the exact opposite yeah. of what he says. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his okay, left. Okay, not. Really. Go. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> right, okay. Can only go this way now. Yeah. Oh, read the warning. 
Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is... Oh, I have to do that now. Penalty for misuse of the cargo lift, 1,000. Jumping off of the cargo... So you can die. It is forbidden fruit for me now. I need it. You can die and they will charge you $5,000. You have to do it. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've Where gotten off on the wrong foot here. Where's I'm not going? your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the oh, story has I'm been about do. nothing but you point. all this time. I'm gonna There's someone on. you've been I'm neglecting. Ready? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Someone do it. I'm not ready! About. I'm ready. What? <gasps> really? I was in the middle of something. <laughs> do you have zero consideration for others? <laughs> Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen yes, to you? Yes, I don't what? trust you. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I, I like really pushing daisies, but no, I don't trust you, you now. To show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Let's give him a chance. Jack, what? Follow the next thing he says. Yeah. Oh, now listen say. carefully. This is important. This is Matrix. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Do you reckon? Yeah. Take the red pill, Chris. <laughs> I mean, walk through the red door, Chris. Oh, fine. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. <laughs> Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? Well, it depends what's around the, the problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running. How are you running, making so many right turns? Just the way you're doing right oh, now. Oh, yeah, I've just noticed that. See that it's killing us, Stanley. I just, I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Is he going to make you commit suicide? I don't really want to commit suicide. Is the other... What? Oh. This is really weird. What do we want? Am I moving? What are we looking for? Oh, yeah. Hmm? What is that? Oh. Oh. Ooh, hello. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> do you suspect that we've gotten the trippiest ending? Or the trippiest... I think we maybe should have listened to him from the start now. <laughs> from the glory of the blue. I'm gonna... Right, where do I go? Can I leave here? I wanna leave here now. What, what happens? I don't know, there's no arrows. It's just that way. Oh, oh. Just, the colours are changed. Can you jump off? There's not a... There's not a platform or a rail for me to luckily land on. You might fly. But I might not. That's true. Mr. Narrator. Let's go. Let's leave. Oh, oh no. Wait. Where are you going? This way. I'm going home. Leave me alone. Ooh. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. <laughs> he just loves making things forbidden fruit, doesn't he? You're going to have to jump off now. Hang on. Hang on. I'll make my way up. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Today on Don't How take To. This from me. Oh. Do uh, it. I hate this in games. Uh. Even though I know it's a game. Do it, do it. Do it. No! Oh. Wait, what? what? Thank God you lived. I got some legs. You had me worried there for a moment. Do it again. No. Do it again. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? <laughs> Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I told you before. It's out of spite. Jump. Oh. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. <laughs> Can you do that for me? It feels yeah. like it feels like they wanted to get My Stephen God. Fry. Is this really how much you'd like to <laughs> I can imagine that, yeah. But you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. <laughs> Am I reading the situation correctly? Yes. Yes, yeah. you are. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. 
I don't know. I, I thought my character got shorter then. I just wanted us to get along. I don't think you got to go with I guess that was too much to ask. Screw that. It the legs have got to give away eventually. Choice after all. Do well, they? this one is yours. You do have a narrator. He got very glum then, which makes me suspect this might not. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you can die. It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Do we have to play the game again? Hey, what? What did he say? Wait, what? Yeah, we've gone back to the beginning. We probably should have listened to him, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> does does he know that we've gone back? All of his co-workers nope. were gone. No, he doesn't. What could it mean? Stanley right, so what did I do last time? The meeting room. Perhaps ignored he everything he said. But then I followed, didn't I? You followed him at the red door. Right, what's it? Should we take the left door this time, or? Yeah, because he Stanley said. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes, I will. Thank you. Um, ah, there we go. The meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, <laughs> Stanley decided to go up to his boss's <laughs> office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> Take it out, Pat. That's how you do it. That's the British way, at least. Resent co workers for not support. Are you bastards? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Everything else has had a number on it so far. Ah. Can you open the other door? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. <laughs> what of it? Come on. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. Yes. No reason to still be here. But is there? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you may need to leave the broom closet. I don't really want to. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Offer him some. You've already killed him. Yeah. I've done the most extreme. Surely that's the most extreme thing that you can happen. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? I don't think it is. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. <laughs> but it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story. What so ever. I think I never would have thought to mention it. They put broom closet on the door instead of nothing or a number to Maybe make you to walk you, into this the is room. somehow exactly. its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet <laughs> ending was my favourite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. Can you just stay in here forever then? No, I think it's time to Stanley leave. was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. <laughs> that or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> I like Stanley now. Yeah. My kind of guy. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. <laughs> what? Got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous what? system <laughs> and you collapsed on the keyboard. What? No. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care is of it before it begins to decompose. Hello? Yeah. Anyone who happens to be nearby, <laughs> the person at this computer is dead. <laughs> oh, he or Christ. She has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. <laughs> it's indicative of the long term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic 
first-person video game mechanics and ah. filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming <laughs> so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. This is possibly my favorite right. game full time when now. you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Do, do as he says, Chris. I don't know. I kind of want to see what happens to my central nervous system. It's gone. Does he say anything else? I don't think he's going to say anything else, is he? Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. You too? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby. Oh, is he pretending that I'm a different person now? Yeah. The fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Right, so. Uh, we've been GPO Gaming, and we're just going to leave it here in the broom closet and see how that works out for us. I've been Chris, this has been Jake. Hello. And thank you very much for watching. I intend to... Fully... Stay in the broom closet. I'm going to stay in the closet as long as possible. However, I am intending to fully play <laughs> this game because I I love, love Mr. Narrator, it. even though he isn't Stephen Fry. Just uh, one more glimpse for all the lovely viewers. All the lovely one of you. Thank you for watching. Why would it give you the choice to stay in the room closet? <laughs>